Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, I introduced you to the concept of operators in RxJS. A quick recap on that, operators are nothing but pure functions or you can say methods which are implemented in RxJS to make our life easy. There are a lot of different uh, operators that are provided in RxJS like creation for creating, mathematical, joining, transformation, filtering, erroring, much much more. We'll learn all of those important major operators as part of the series. The first operator to learn to we'll start learning is off operator. This is part five of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Uh, make sure that you check out all the uh, previous episodes in the playlist. Uh, I'm planning around 30 odd tutorials. So let me know if you have any certain operators you want me to create. I'll consider that as well. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. This is the fifth episode in the series. Today we are learning about off operator. So what is an off operator? Off operator make, helps us create an observable from a string or an array or an object. Most of the times you may um, require, in real time use cases, you may require um, that you have some data or an array or an object and you want to convert it into an observable. It's, I would not say it's the 100% um, that you have to use it all the time, but this is something that is definitely required, okay? And this is very, very simple operator to start learning, all right? So whenever you'll think of creating an observable, you can think of of operator you can make an observable out of string array or an object where to use it whenever we want to pass a variable which has to be an observable instead of an array or a string we can use of operator all right so that is the basic use case of of operator now let's see hands-on example if you remember in the last um, episode we created we learned a last not last the previous one we learned about obs creating observable right so that was this code please do check it out i'm going to list down here this was episode number three okay this was episode number three now let's talk about episode number four so today oh sorry five today we are learning about the off operator okay off operator so I told you whenever we want to create something um, which is a observable of certain type we want can easily create it okay so let's say you have a string you have an array or you have an object okay see the important thing here to know is that we can create a observable out of anything a string array or a object okay that's the key thing that you should remember so let's get started and I'm going to define and says let's say variable and here I'm going to say it's an observable of type string okay what I'm saying here is I'm creating a variable by the name students and I'm saying it's an observable which is of type string array is equal to so when you say off it would be imported from the rxjs and then I'm going to pass values here and again you can pass the list of values that you want I'm keeping the things and names simple so that you follow and have a systematic thing but we will go ahead and use all of these in angular application to make you much more um, understandable in terms of practical approach so I have just created an observable which is of type string array off you see I'm passing an array here this is an array or you can also have it like this and you can say list is equal to right and I can pass this array directly here right so here it says cannot find okay because we have to use this dot okay we are creating an observable of type string array using off operator and here we are passing the array this is the array that we are saying now I told you if you remember observable is useless unless you subscribe to it so we can say this dot students 
dot subscribe and data and you can do console log and you go to application and check it out you would see the values that are printed here right this is the simplest use case of off operator you can also do the same with strings so let's see that now instead of an array let's say I want to just have so table is of type string is equal to off so here you'll pass a string right so let's say if I pass RAM so now see what happens and here I'm going to do the same uh, the code is same so I'm copy pasting this will become student names okay so now this would split out the word and give you each one see it's giving you Ram right so if now this is an observable of string this is a string value but now this has become an observable of it right so if something changes from here this would automatically reflect also same way if you have a say student object so now this is an object so here we can say 10 say name okay now this is an object so we can create an observable out of object also so you will write student student observable obj or the best thing is always use dollar sign so that way you know that it's a student object right observables always should have a dollar sign that's a you know um, good practice that is followed in different, different uh, enterprises so we should also stick to that okay so now here it is saying it is saying it's an array correct now see here it says clearly observable is not assignable so we will remove this here say any for now because it's an object right and same way you will write this dot student on dot subscribe data and console log the data and you will see that so just so that you're not confused I'm commenting these for a minute so you see the actual output so see here now it is an sub observable of type object right so what did we learn now we are learning to use off operator it's now you a lot of times people will ask why do we need to do this right it's because you will require not just the data if you get an array of some data right you get an array but you want to pass to a method which is only accepting observable then you will have to use off operator right a lot of times people think this is like stupid uh, operator but trust me this is one of the most useful utilities when you do a lot of large transformation of data in your applications you will have such use cases where you will require an array you will get a input as array but you need output as observable that's where off operator will help you convert that array into an observable of string array or string or an object okay so this is all about off operator I hope uh, this is clear to you uh, let me know if you have any doubts because going forward it will make even more sense when you start relating and combining these operators together in the next episode we are going to learn a, another operator which is called from operator now this is very very similar close to off operator but with a difference we will see that in the next episode stay tuned please do subscribe to my channel if you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash our tutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode. We will learn from operator. Thank you.